Hello, this is Aubrey Birch with Easy School Marketing, and I'm here with one of probably, gosh, I have so many favorite books, but one of my favorite books um, by one of my favorite authors, Patrick Lencioni. So who is this for? Basically, I recommend this to everyone. I do. If you work at a school, this is for you. If you're head of school, most definitely this is for you. If you're a small business owner with a team, this is for you. <laughs> I started reading this on Audible uh, after it was recommended by, I think, Amy Porterfield or someone in the online podcast thing. And I was like, oh, okay. And at first, this was actually the first Patrick Lencioni book I read. But at first I was kind of put off because all his books begin with like a fable of sorts, like a story of how these um, concepts play out in like a business. And I fell in love with this book because immediately I could see every time I've been in a small school or been working with an effective or ineffective team, I can seriously see it all in this. I see it all. So he talks about how you need a humble, hungry, and smart team. And humble is like, you're part of the team and like, you're not like taking all the credit. You're really working with your team. And yeah, you, you, you say, yes, I did a great job, but you're also in it for the team. And hungry is that you don't just get a task. You say, oh, I have this task and what can I do above and beyond this? Or how can I take this organization further? Okay, so you're constantly not just doing your baseline job, but you're thinking strategically about uh, how you can better the organization and take it one step further. And smart is not what you think. Smart is like people smarts. It's like, how do you get along well with others? Like, can you actually work in a group and, um, and, and, and support each other through that? And I can say, and he goes into like what happens so he puts like it in like, um, it's a Venn diagram. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Anyways, who, like you can see if you're missing one of these characteristics, like how detrimental that is to a team. Like he goes into like, if you're missile, if you've got humble and hungry, but you don't have people smarts, what does that leave you with? It leaves you with a huge mess because you have someone alienating everyone else and the work's not getting done because they can't stand to work with the person. So um, <laughs> there's, it's amazing. I highly recommend this book. I'm telling you, once again, it's The Ideal Team Player by Patrick, Patrick Lencioni. Hopefully I'm not butchering his name. Sorry, Patrick. Uh, I really, if you're head of school, you've got to read this. Like, this should be mandatory reading for every head of school because even like looking at your teams now and identifying, are they humble, hungry, and smart? Like in the book, the person whose business was doing this, you know, the fable, um, they actually put on a whiteboard, like all their team names and was like, do all, does this person meet these, these things? And it wasn't like, if they don't meet them, get rid of them. It was more like, if they don't meet them, how can we coach them to to make, get there. And some people you can, and some things you can't like, and he sent, he'll go through like what you can coach on and what you really can't and like how long it takes. And, um, it's just amazing because it actually creates the culture of your business. And so if your business is full of hungry, humble, hungry, and smart people, your business is moving forward. It's going to be on fire. It's amazing. And that's how schools should be thinking. Like, how do you hire humble, hungry, and smart people? And how do you build teams like this? So definitely read that book. Tell me all about it. If you have read it, let me know what your thoughts are. What were your key takeaways? I'd love to hear. Talk to you soon.